Hello. So I made some parts with uh, the the leftover wood I uh, was given. It's ideal. It's really light. It's not birch ply. It's uh, the other one. I don't know what the name is in English, but uh, it's really, really, really light. Anyhow, um, I was thinking about. Well, yesterday I made a. I posted it somewhere. Well, anyhow, I, I ordered some metal. Uh, that is like a certain length. And laser cut for five 50 millimeter magnets. Uh, this will not be here in time, so I, I'm gonna try something differently for now. Uh, and that is, I made like a groove in here. That's 1.2 millimeter wide. This is one millimeter metal. And the idea now of construction is this part is gonna sit here. And it's not exactly right. And the reason for that is that on this side, I'll grab a uh, measurement device. Uh, it leaves room. So it serves two purposes. Uh, well, to make the frame. But as well, this here should be around four, four something, four and a half. Ah, oh yeah, no, that's correct. Four millimeter. Uh, this is where the ribbon will be attached to, and the front plate will have a uh, foam tape, which is 0 0.8 or something, something in this region. So it will be like 4.8. Uh, distance from the front metal and I believe it is as well oh. Yeah, there's also around 4.8 from the metal in the back and the metal in the back I'm gonna do like this for now at least So I'll add this piece here Maybe I'll add this piece so we can see And then should be able to align it here, like this. So this fits perfectly, and this fits perfectly as well, so that's good. See if we can put on the top half. Yes, so that's good. So I left over some um, room to fit in this piece of wood. So the uh, groove in there is a little bit deeper. And I use these pieces of wood as uh, the correct distance. Like this. Oh. So aligning it sideways is the only thing that might be troublesome. Might need to do that like this. Put something here. That's good enough. Hmm, that works like a charm, I think. Oops. And a middle piece. You need to glue this, of course. And this is, uh, I talked about it, more this kind of version. It looks really wide, but, well, it is really wide. Oh, all my wood is falling, but. Uh, <laughs> 
It looks really wide because it is. But only a small piece of this is actually gonna play music. I didn't want to cut all the metal on the in the length direction. So the metal I ordered is smaller to begin with. Hmm. That looks kinda weird. Oh I'm gonna make this uh version because I want to know. Now uh it's not you know this is curved but it's not tilted and I wonder if if you tilt it like this a little bit so this is kind of flattish near the uh, base driver and then it curves if that's the correct thing or like this I mean this looks cooler but uh, yeah who knows I know I don't know I could google it but I guess I won't get an answer <laughs> Yeah, cool. Just a small update. Uh, I did not measure the um, 180 thingy uh, dispersion because I'm... Um, yeah. I need to work kind of fast. And I do know that it sounds weird and I kind of enjoy it, but uh, it's also, uh, as I told earlier, it's not cor correct. It doesn't feel correct, uh, the balance. Uh, yeah, and I assume that it also has to do with the huge amount of gravitation, so that's why I want to try this. Maybe I can measure them uh, afterwards, one against the other, who knows. But then again, this one is gonna have neodymium magnets. Now the question is, this, uh, the thing that I uh, machined in here to put the metal in, it's not actually a circle, but it, it is on purpose flat pieces. But since the curve is not that much, I'm, I think the metal is not gonna, you know, make a bend, a sharp bend, but will make it round. And that's cool and all, but it might not be ideal, or at least it might be harder to uh, glue magnets to it. Yeah, so. It is a bit, you know, wibbly wobbly. Because this piece of metal uh, has turned into a very nice curve. Although the groove it's sitting in is made out of straight pieces. But this is really soft wood and I think the uh, metal in this case won. <laughs> uh, with the metal I ordered, it is made to size if that makes any sense. So it will remain flat because it's made up out of, for instance, seven pieces. And that could be cool because then you can make, with the same metal, a very large panel if I want, or I can change the curve if I want, or I can make a flat one if I want. Small or large. So I thought that might be the best choice for now. If I have to buy or yeah, buy a laser metal for every thing I want to try. It's going to be really costly. So I think this might be a good compromise to uh, test a lot of things. Yeah, cool. Looks this wood also looks just like birch. Always nice, whatever you do with it. It's like ah, nice, a box with a piece of metal in there and some curvitation. Love it. <laughs> This ridge here is uh, the uh, distance I need for the cover plate. So a few, few of those uh, rubbery tapes will be sitting in here and then something that covers it, either metal or something else. And then the foil has the correct distance from the magnets, at least that's the idea. So I'm trying to use as little parts as I can. I did make a other version and then I transitioned to this one. First I made this one, which looks similar, but was made out of several pieces as you can see. So these are separate. And then I have to have something here as well, and there as well. So the other version uses far less parts. Okay, cool. 
see you later. Bye-bye.